on the state's response to Tropical Storm Henri. We were just hearing about power outages throughout the state. Some 83,000 people without power right now. Uh, about 51,000 of them in uh, Washington County. That's where the majority of the damage is. Governor McKee saying that they are going to be doing damage assessment. Uh, we also heard from reps from National Grid saying that they are going to be trying to restore power as quickly as possible, but that it is likely going to be a multi day event, which is going to be tough because we have some hot weather on the way. Uh, fortunately, it won't be the week long event like they yes. might thought it might be. Also, uh, they are opening the roads. They're asking people they can go back to work tomorrow. State workers are going to go back as well. Tracking all this is Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraca. This storm was all over the place over the last several days, Tony. Now, kind of, you know, going back and forth, Mike and Shannon, between a potential landfall in western Connecticut to a potential landfall in, uh, on Cape Cod, but in the coming days, it is more or less narrowed right here in southeastern New England. So, we are still gusty, but the wind not nearly of the magnitude of it was uh, this morning. We were gusting 50, even 70 miles per hour, so we're still blustery out there. At times, we can get uh, gusts of 40, 45 miles per hour. The, uh, the center of the storm is actually now up towards uh, north of Hartford near Springfield, Mass. So it's, it's been tracking north and west. Uh, the winds at 50 at one point, of course, this was a category one, minimal category one hurricane at 75 miles per hour. Uh, wind is moving northwest. Uh, the uh, speed is northwest at nine, and that track will continue and then eventually curl back around in this direction across uh, southern uh, New Hampshire on Monday. So what will happen is actually some of this moisture will spill back in in the form of just some scattered showers, nothing too serious. Uh, coming up on Monday before that uh, heat that we've been talking about will be building for midweek. So this has been the track of the storm so far and then the uh, forecast track uh, tonight right on through tomorrow. And we were talking about this last couple of days, how we felt as though we would be on the eastern side where that's where the strongest wind is located with some rain, but not as much as the flooding rains that you usually find on the west side of, of these storm tracks where you've had some wind out in Connecticut, but it's been a big uh, rainfall issue with flash flood warnings that continue. So the good news we talked about earlier, the storm surge warning has been discontinued. But with that said, we do have our second high tide between 8 and 9 o'clock in the evening and still with a kind of a gusty onshore flow of the of the wind tonight. There may be some very minor coastal flooding or some minor splash over during the, the second high tide coming up for this evening. But good news in that that storm surge alert now has been dropped, not just for the Rhode Island coastline, but also for the Connecticut coastline as well. But, you know, the seas just don't shut off like that. They still remain rough and then these rough conditions will actually extend both surf and rips at the area beaches coming up for tomorrow as well. So our threat tracker remains elevated for a few more hours as we get deeper into the night and, and through tomorrow, things are really calming down. But even now, the worst of the storm in terms of strong wind has been easing, but still some lingering impacts out there right now. As mentioned, that minor coastal flooding anticipated at the time of high tide this evening. And uh, the beach is on Monday. Again, as mentioned, the, the surf and the rips will be very, very rough. So you can see down in New Bedford, I mean, it's not calm. I mean, we still got some gusty wind and some rain. But again, it's not quite as strong as what we had uh, this morning. But at times, we're gusting close to 40 miles per hour. And that's the reason why the tropical storm warning, though it's not as bad out right now, is still in effect for this afternoon. Take a look at the forecast for this evening and right on through the overnight. Very humid with a few scattered showers and gusty breezes. Tomorrow morning, we're starting off in the in the middle 70s then turning partly sunny, warm and humid. And some of this moisture spinning through during the afternoon is sort of remnant moisture from Henri. Uh, so while we're not anticipating uh, severe weather or severe winds, we will get some of that moisture and uh, some scattered showers. So for tonight, we're still windy for the next several hours, gusting up to 40, 45 miles per hour. But the trend each hour is for the magnitude to be coming down. We have very warm and humid temperatures in the 70s all night long. For tomorrow morning, we're starting off with clouds and then turning partly sunny. Looking at a few showers, uh, more so during the afternoon. Scattered showers, a, a summery feel as temperatures today only in the 70s, but we are back up to uh, 82 and that advertised heat that's on the way for the midweek. Bay forecast on Monday with a south breeze at, uh, at 10 to 20 and visibility 1 to 3 miles in showers. There's that heat and humidity. Uh, summer hanging on here Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, upper 80s to around 90. And again, some of the lingering showers coming up for tomorrow, some kind of residual moisture from Henri, but Mike and Shannon not anticipating uh, anything severe.